Good evening, it's the 12th of March 2021 and this is video 3 of study 8 of the Asset Strength Reversion Algo. Now this uh, study started on a starting balance of £10,729.80 and we are currently standing just a little bit below that at, uh, where are we? £10,706 currently. Now, if we look at the account history, this trade actually, this uh, study started on the 3rd of March, but nothing actually happened until the 4th when there was five trades triggered, three on the euro pound and two on the euro CAD. Now, I've not done any trade management on this study um, on 15 minute, half hour and one hour time frames. There's just not enough time uh, to do actually any trade management. So these trades are just going to be allowed to run to their take profits or their stop losses. So on the 4th of uh, March, there were three winning trades for the euro and there were two uh, euro pound and there were two losing trades for the euro CAD. Then on the 9th of March, uh, there were a few more trades, one, two, three, four, five, so yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, four trades on the 9th of March, all on the Euro Swiss, and they all went to their take profit. And then uh, there's been uh, a few trades on the 12th, which is today. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six losing trades. Uh, and uh, that was on the two losing trades on the Euro CAD. And... Uh, four on pound CAD. Uh, the CAD has been very, very strong and um, <clears throat> that's probably the reasons why uh, the trades didn't stand much chance of getting into a profit situation. Anyway, I'm just going to pull this down now and then we'll look at the actual trade screen. So, looking at the actual trade screen itself here, uh, we can see the various trades that have actually been taking place. And uh, the first four instruments are the algos. Then we've got the EuroCAD trades, which we've already covered. Uh, just have a quick look, see how they went. Yeah, so that was a long trade, straight down. Then, uh, where are we? Yes, yeah, so that was the other one on the slightly higher modifier of 2.75. Then we had the Euro Swiss trades. Now uh, they were nice ones, uh, long trades straight to the take profit. So those are the four Euro Swiss trades. Then we had the Euro Pound trades, long trades, a little bit of consolidation, and then straight up to the actual take profit. Now we've got um, a few trades running actually on the euro pound right now and these were taken today at around about 3 15 this afternoon short trades uh, right now the actual trades running just a little bit in profit not much there and we'll see how this uh, progresses next week so there's those trades on the euro pound and then to finish off we had these trades on the pound cad opened straight down. Uh, CAD's very, very strong. So right now, uh, the study is running at a slight loss, but I'm not going to terminate it yet. I'm going to let it run for a couple of weeks to see whether or not there's any merit in running 15-minute, uh, half-hour and one-hour timeframes 